So there we have it. The first thing you'll probably notice if you really knew the success was the shear on the front has been reduced by about 25 mil. So she's looking a lot better. Um, inside the hole we had a few leaks so we fixed all these up. Uh, you'll notice that those timbers there, I've hollowed them out a bit but they were quite thick, quite heavy. Uh, I don't make holes like that anymore uh, for a reason because that was just too heavy. So as we move back along we can see where the the leaks was in the back. You can see all the timbers gone a bit black. It used to leak and really badly their sinker within 10 minutes. I've adjusted the stern a little bit to make her look a bit more realistic. She's not by any means perfect uh, but it's better than what it was. It would have been a lot less work to actually have built a new hull but I'm restoring the boat. We're not uh, replacing it. Those bearers are 8mm by 4mm and they're spaced at 30mm uh, apart. So that hole there that you can see in the back is actually going to be in the back cabin and it's for my radio gear and radio servo. Uh, then we've got the engine room there. Uh, I believe she had a rusted engine in it. I'm going to do my best to uh, put that back in her. Uh, not her original engine but what a replacement it was. Uh, forward hole, that's where I'm going to put the battery. I used to have to take the entire superstructure off to change a battery which sat in the engine room. Uh, so we're not going to have it like that anymore. And that's where the front sunken cabin is going to be and I'm going to mount the switch in there so it's nice easy access. A lot of people ask me about my rub rails, how I get the curve on the hull. So if we have a look we can see clearly that it's actually two pieces of timber. So the bend is quite easy to achieve and that goes all the way back. I've actually moved the paddle boxes back just a little bit, about 20 more on this one. Uh, hopefully that will make her sit a bit better in the water as well. She was a bit bow heavy. Uh, and one thing being an original hull, I wasn't uh, very accurate when I measured her up. And if we have a look at her there, we can see that the curve on it is not perfect in the hull. One side's a little bit more curvy than the other. Um, unless I replace the hull, there's not a lot I can do with that one. So we will live with it and try and disguise it. Uh, so I'm off to the paint shop with this one. We're going to paint her with Dulux. Um, weather shield, anything under the water is going to be uh, enamel and that's the glue I'm using at the moment, just some type on. So I'll paint it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.